Hey everyone, this is Justin from Black Box My Car with a Blacksys CH100B installation video on the 2015 Toyota RAV4. Uh, this model is basically 2013 and up, it's going to look pretty much the same. And it's going to have a similar layout to other crossovers, SUVs, hatchbacks, uh, such as like the Honda CRV or Toyota Venza. And we're basically here to show you how it's laid out with the wires, how to hook it up to the fuse box and how it looks when it's mounted. Uh, because we didn't want to take up too much of our customers' time, we didn't really do a step-by-step -step video, uh, more or less a walkthrough of um, the car. So we're going from the back all the way to the front and show you how it's uh, set up along the way. So for the rear of the RAV4, this is what we're looking at. We take off this trim piece here. You just kind of pull down and there's uh, some clips here, about four I think in total. And then there's um, left and right. We didn't even take off the right side there. And basically for the connecting cable, uh, there's not really enough room in here to get it through the, the, the little tube here, but um, it's still got a pretty good seal even if you stick it kind of around it. So basically between the car and the tube, there's the wire there. And you just feed it up and stick the camera there. So that's the camera from the outside. Okay. And then for the connecting cable, we just have it going along the headliner. This part here is really uh, quite tricky. We, we needed uh, two people to really get enough slack in the uh, headliner and the B pillar to get it through. The rest of the way is really quite easy. This is from the passenger side, what you would see. So a lot of people think the Blacksys is uh, bulkier, but it actually is quite small. And you just have that power cable running up under this rubber trim here. Oh, and there you can see poking out. I'll tuck that back in. And along the A pillar to the front to the camera. And so from the driver's seat, you can't really see the camera at all. You just see the two wires. Give you an idea of the fuses that we use. The Blacksys actually has the fuses in reverse from the Powermagic Pro. So the red fuse is actually the battery fuse, whereas the uh, yellow fuse is the ACC fuse. Uh, on the Toyota vehicles and a lot of other Japanese vehicles, uh, for the ACC, it's really easy. Uh, we use the dedicated ACC fuse. So from the bottom right there, 7.5 amp ACC. Uh, that's the one that we use for the ACC. Uh, and then for the constant power, we actually use a sunroof, which is right next to it on the left. So right next to that 7.5 amp, we have that 10 amp there. And that one's for the sunroof, which we use for the constant. And so you have the two red and yellow wires. You won't see these once the trim pieces are back in. And then we have the ground cable right there. And we need to put the panel back in in sequence. So the uh, kick panel here goes in first. There is just one little pin there and then the hole is right there. Okay, and then there's just one little nut that goes back there. This one is actually like finger tight. Uh, that's the way it is from factory. You'll just see the two little wires peeking behind there, but otherwise you shouldn't really see any of the wiring uh, for the RAV4. And there's just a second uh, door sill trim piece that goes on top and goes in there. And there's a few other clips along the way. There's that door sill trim piece back in place. So that's the Blacksys with the security LED on the front. And let's walk around the back, show you the Rear security LED. Rear security LED is a lot dimmer, perhaps, or maybe it's just because of the window tint, but uh, not very visible, uh, just enough to so you know it's on. It's blinking there. Now both of these LED features can be turned off completely if you don't like them. Uh, some people like it, so you know the camera's running, uh, and people know there's a camera running, but some people like to disable it for theft reasons. 